Hi friends, last week we learned about so the sun and we learned that the sun changes position in the sky. Uh, really, the sun's not changing position. The sun stays still. It's the earth that is making it look like the sun changes position. And we notice that because we observed. That means we noticed, we saw, and we felt either it was hot or it was chilly, depending on where the sun was. But we observed the sun throughout the day. We noticed things about the sun throughout the day. Now, this week, we're learning about rotation. Rotation means to spin, like me. I rotated. Can you rotate? Spin with me. So when we rotate, we see something different every time that we're rotating. If the sun was way back there, I would see it when I was facing that way. If the sun is over here, I would see it while I'm facing this way. So that was al allowing us to see the sun at different points in our sky because of the Earth's rotation. Here is a model of the Earth. This is a special one, and it's called a globe. A globe has a map on it, but it surrounds it like a big ball because the Earth is the shape of a ball or a sphere. And the Earth rotates. That means it spins. When it goes around, it changes the position of where we see the sun to be. It also changes the position of where we see the moon to be. We'll learn about that later. But because the Earth rotates, we are able to see the sun at different points. Let me show you. Last week, you might have used this a little bit to check it out, which is pretty cool. And what I want you to do this week is to spin the Earth. And we're going to spin it so the sun rises in the east. There it is. And as it continues, it's going to set in the west. So as we go through, we can do it again. The sun is rising in the east. And you might notice that little part behind the sun, that's the moon. We'll talk about that soon, I promise. It rises in the east. And look, this is about noon, about the middle of the day between noon and one. And it sets in the west. So that's a different position for where the sun is. But what's causing that sun to move is me rotating the earth. By me spinning the earth around and around, it's changing the position of the sun in the sky. So there's some things that happen because of the sun changing and, um, and because the earth is rotating. So on the next video, there's an activity that you are going to do on a sunny day. I'm going to explain it to you, but you need to watch the next video so you know what to do.